Hi everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to answer the question, what are object defaults? I'm using version two of the app, but object defaults exist in version one in both the iPad and desktop version. And I'm going to be jumping into both in this tutorial. So let's get started. So first things first, what are object defaults? Well, they allow you to set defaults for objects that you create in designer like fills and strokes on shapes or color size and other attributes like font on artistic or frame text. Let's start with shapes as an example. I'm here in the iPad version and I don't like working on the white background that is automatically put into place with a new canvas. So what I typically do is grab a rectangle and drag it out as my background and change it to off white. The thing is, unless I go in and change it to the exact color with each canvas, I automatically get the default, which is sort of a light gray fill and black stroke. But I can change that by setting an object default. So I have my rectangle here and I'm going to turn off the stroke and change the fill to this off white color. And with it selected, I'm going to go up to the documents menu and down to defaults. And first I'm going to tap synchronize from selection. Then I'm going to go back up to that and hit save. Now what that's done is it's automatically set the default to this off white fill so that for future shapes I create here in this document, it's going to keep this unless I change it, but it's also going to set that globally. So let's stick within this document for a second. If I turn this layer off and I grab a rectangle, of course it's going to give me the off-white color, but I can change this to something like this pink and keep dragging this out. And if I want to go back to this exact color but don't feel like saving this in a palette, I can go up to documents, down to defaults and revert, and it's going to go back to the last saved default, which was this off-white fill with no black stroke. But this also works globally. So if I create a new document and I grab my rectangle tool, let's go to the color studio first. The first thing you'll note is the automatic color here is that off white instead of that gray with the black fill. If I select my rectangle tool and drag out, that's exactly what I'm going to get and I'm all set. What if I want to change this back to the original gray and black? Well, I can do the same thing, go back up to my defaults and I can just hit factory reset and it's automatically going to set it back to that light gray fill with a black stroke. In addition to using object default with shapes, you can also use them with fonts. So if there's a particular font that you like to use in your projects, you can set it from the default Arial to something else. Let's head into the desktop version and take a look at how that works. So I'll select my art text tool and I'm gonna drag out a letter and you can see that Arial is the automatic font and I dragged this out to 204. Let's set this to 200 even. And I'll just type out default. Now I don't use Arial. I actually use the font League Spartan more often. So I'm going to choose that and I'll keep this at 200. That's actually pretty good. I'll make sure this is selected with the move tool, go up to edit, or I can go here to this cog and choose synchronize defaults. But I'm going to go up to edit because this is also where you're going to find the save. So I'll synchronize from the selection, go back up and choose save. And now that's setting League Spartan as my object default at 200 points and set to a black fill. Because in addition to the font and size, you can also set your fill color. So if you have a brand color that you use along with a particular font, you can set that as well. So let's change this to orange. And I'm going to go back up and click save. And let's test it out. I'll do file, new, and open a new document. Grab my art text and you can see it's automatically giving me orange. League Spartan at 200. So I'll click and I'm all set. Now I can make changes to this. I can grab another color if I want. I can change the size to let's say 300. I could even change the font. And if I go back up to edit, down to defaults and hit revert, or choose this cog here, it's automatically going to take me back to the last saved object default, which in this case was League Spartan at 200. 
set to the orange fill. Now, just like with the iPad version, I can set this all the way back to the original default if I want. So I'll select it, go up to edit, down to defaults and choose factory reset. And it's going to take it back to Arial 12 points and black. So can you see yourself using object defaults? If so, let me know in the comments below. If you like this tutorial, I would love it if you'd give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I have lots more tutorials like this one on the way. And if you like my teaching style, I've linked both my Skillshare channel and my own teaching site, The Creator Collage, below. That's where you'll find all of my full length classes. In the meantime, if you want other designer tutorials, consider checking out one of these two next. Thanks for watching.